Hello, I'm Michael Slint, Senior Editor at Stanford Social Innovation Review, and I'm here with Raj Chetty, Professor of Economics at Stanford University. In recent years, uh, Raj and his colleagues have published a series of papers that shed new light on mobility and poverty, particularly in the United States. And these papers, papers have received a great deal of attention, uh, more than the papers uh, of an academic sort usually get. Uh, and I think it's largely because of the depth and rigor of Raj and his colleagues' work, but it's also because the topic of, of social and economic inequality has been a matter of increasing concern in recent years. Years. So Raj, I want to put this first question to you. Um, could you tell me about more about this body of research that you've done? In particular, how are you using and analyzing data in new ways, ways that, that help us sharpen our understanding of inequality? In our work, we're using big data, data drawn from de-identified tax and social security databases covering millions of kids and their parents, to look at equality of opportunity. How do children's chances of climbing the income ladder look in the United States? What are your odds of going from the bottom part of the income distribution to say the top part of the income distribution? And how does that depend in particular on where you grow up? It turns out that there, there are really large differences in rates of upward mobility with places like the Bay Area and Salt Lake City, giving kids from disadvantaged backgrounds great chances of succeeding. And in contrast, places like Atlanta or Charlotte really having chronic poverty across generations where it's very hard to escape and climb up the income ladder. So what we're doing is using that variation as a lens to understand what seems to lead to higher levels of mobility in some areas than others, and ultimately what might we be able to do from a policy perspective to improve children's chances of succeeding everywhere. Raj, for my second question, I'd like to broaden things out and talk about the, the problem of social and economic equality in general, the conversation we're having about it. What is there, what's the single most important thing in your view that people fail to understand about this problem, about the root causes or the core attributes of inequality? I think the national conversation about social mobility has been a national one. That is, it hasn't really paid attention to the fact that the American dream is well and alive in many parts of the country, and it's only in certain parts of the country, like the Southeast and parts of the Rust Belt, where social mobility seems much lower than most of us would like it to be. And so that local perspective on mobility is one that I think has been mis missing from this national conversation. I think that local perspective can be very encouraging because it shows that we can make changes, maybe in just in our own communities, that would really contribute to the big picture problem. Well, that's a good transition to the third and final question I have for you, which is really about moving from diagnosing the problem to thinking about potential solutions. What's the one idea or intervention or initiative you think has the most potential to really reckon with uh, inequality to improve social mobility? I think one of the areas we should be focusing on is trying to reduce the amount of segregation in cities. So we find that more residentially segregated cities, places where the poor and the rich are not living near each other, where they're not interacting, tend to be places with much lower levels of mobility. And we have a large set of programs in place, housing voucher programs, affordable housing programs, on which we spend about $45 billion a year in the US that are intended to try to give families better housing. But unfortunately, most of that money goes to renting apartments or houses in places that are relatively low opportunity. So trying to move the needle on that and getting more low income families living in mixed income neighborhoods that provide better opportunities for their kids can, I think, be a really tractable way to try to improve mobility in the United States. Well, thanks very much, Raj Shetty, for answering these three questions for us. Thank thanks you. very much.